Having a hard time with love lasting long enough? Uh, how often is your first date your last date? Have you noticed that your relationships last no more than two days? They say love never lasts, but in your case, it doesn't even start. Your birthday is a secret soul security number. We know everything about you. How you love, how you lust, and how you like to be lusted by. In one video, you'll understand what you're looking for in love and what you offer. Secrets of Birthdays, now available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, your Matters team. Welcome back from the weekend, and thanks for logging in. Well, cloudy and philosophical, basically learning today for the Leos. The moon, which focuses our emotions, has now shifted into Aries. So you are focused on your philosophy. You're focused on travel. You're focused on learning. This is the trend where I find we tend to learn. So in the last 30 days, you've gone through different experiences. Now maybe you're processing that conversation with Bob. Now maybe you're rereading that email from your boss. Now maybe you're learning from your last 30 days of emotion. That's a big part of it. But also, the moon has crossed over Jupiter. Jupiter over the weekend has shifted now into Aries. It's a very exciting thing. That means that the Aries vibration is going to expand. That means the universe is going to be bringing opportunity and fortune to Leos when they expand their wisdom, when you think outside your box. In fact, things will tend to feel claustrophobic, restless, maybe difficult to deal with in an optimistic perspective when you're not expanding. So when things get kind of uh, motionless, when things don't move your way, there's a, good, uh, there's a good chance it's because you are thinking too narrow-mindedly. So for the next year, the universe is going to blow your mind. You're going to expand. Life's going to be bigger and greater than you thought. Your religion will expand. Your philosophy will expand. And today, emotionally, it's kind of a little beta test of where you're going to go in the next year. Now, also spacing you out is the sun. The sun today is ruled by Neptune. Neptune is the intuition vibration. So today, we're all more logged into our subconscious than usual. Today's a great day to meditate. And in your case, meditating on issues with you in society. Maybe meditating on why you and a friend are having a conflict. Maybe meditating on why it is you can't get the word out for your new product. Maybe how to get the word out. Word out. What's the best practice? And also meditating on who you want to be in society. So today is definitely a spaced out day for everyone on the planet. But Leo Julie Zipper is live today with meditation vibration. So it's lined up perfectly. She's here to help you today guide through the Gemini vibration. Again, Gemini applies to your social life, applies to your friends, applies to your reputation in society. So if you do want to meditate, you got someone to help you and guide you today. Her name is Julie Zipper and she's live everywhere in the garden. All right, your Royal Majesty, that's all I have for Monday. Now tomorrow we're going to talk about Mars entering into Virgo. And until now and until then, from now until then, live, love, be. So God.